Forward in time. Okay, three way. Let's go. I'll call it zucchini. Zucchini. Zucchini at the end. So, yeah, I didn't know that. That was cool. Gotcha, bitch. Prophet lobster. All right. Is it gonna throw that whole building at me? What? What's with bayonetta characters and throwing buildings at each other? Wait, wait for it. Oh, don't wait for it. Hello, we going today, everyone. My name is Rakan. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. We're gonna get right into chapter nine. I was about to say ten. The Gates of Heru. So, without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. I think this is the time where we're gonna verse Lobster. I don't know. I want to see. I want to see. Or Lobster. Sorry, Lobster. Sniper iguana. Oh, I, ah, I knew it. 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 Why did I do this? See, that's the, my favorite one. That's my favorite animation. Oh, my favorite summon, Fire Phantom. Alright, mental cookies. Okay, so a lot of people complain about Bayo 1 and 2, mostly being Bayo 2 because of the gameplay style, but do you prefer Bayonetta 1 or Bayonetta 2? Now this is definitely a great question. It's a pref- it's, sorry, it's a preference question. This has been on my mind because Bayonetta 1 gave me the, the classic. It's a classic. Like it was made in 2009, or sorry, published in 2009. Bayonetta 2 like basically added more stuff to it. Uh, made it more colourful as well, so it, Bayonetta 2 doesn't give as much nostalgia as Bayonetta 1. So it's not really that, I can't, I, honestly, like to be honest with you, I cannot choose. I, I can't really choose, I, I don't mind um, the game styles. I will give Bayonetta 2 this, like the game styles for Bayonetta 2 for me were more fun because just because there are more things in it, that's the only reason why. Like both game styles I love. In terms of uh, hardware or console, I prefer the PC, but I, I enjoy both. Like with Bayonetta, I'm never like, oh, I hate this part of the, the game. I, I'm never like that with Bayonetta. I don't know why it's my favorite franchise, I guess. Cause so, I think it's gonna be pretty, 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 pretty hard for Hideki Kamiya and the developers that at uh, Platinum Games to disappoint me with Bayonetta 3 because I'm very open when it comes to games. I'm not that picky, unlike some other fans. Uh, if you're picky, that's that's up to you, that's fine. Uh, if you're a critic, that's fine with you. But to be honest, I cannot choose. So, Mental Cookies, thank you so much for your question. We're gonna go defeat this boss. I think this is a hard one, maybe, but we'll get right through it. Bam! Nice. These guys are just everywhere, that's why I can't hit them. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think there's anything. I'll check behind this portal again. Can't go behind. Let's go! Hey, we're back here. We're in the Paradiso realm. Oh, I think we were in the Paradiso realm before. Who's, who's, who wants it? Oh, whoa, okay. The same one. Fight! Ah! Nice. Oh, who's this? Push him. Let's go. Rust head should have had. Blue tongue. My, my nose is itchy. <laughs> uh, I dodged it. I don't know how it happened. Nice. Rust head to the can. Nice. That was pretty good. I got hit like two times or something. Go back. Ah. I'm forward in time. There you are. 
Oh, two of you. Okay, three-way. Let's go. Yuri three-way. A little bit too aggressive, huh? Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, this looks like it. This looks like it. This looks like it. Come on, this looks like it. This looks like it. This looks like it. Let's go. Okay. Alright, we need to go to a Radon. I like you, Bayonet. If I didn't, I'd be charged. You hazard to pay for this. See, he does like him in this timeline. Takemikazuchi. Takemikazuchi. Uh, I've never actually used this weapon. I've never have. Um, take, take Mikazuchi. I'll call it. I'll call it Mika. Uh, I, I, I'll call it Zucchini. Zucchini. That's a better one. Zucchini, because <laughs> it's Zucchi at the end. So my cherry bug and my zucchini. Ooh. Okay. Let's try and test it out. Whew, that was pretty cool. I, I didn't know what I did, but that was pretty cool. Gotcha, bitch! Gotcha, bitch! Gotcha, bitch! Ah, no! no. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Okay, I fell. Okay. Man, that was some pretty bad hype. Okay, I'm probably just judging too quick. It's like you're meant to use this on bigger bigger enemies. I can one hit him, see? Ooh. Okay, that, that was pretty good. Let's see how it is on a bigger enemy, though. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it goes faster. Oh. Spike! Whoa, what did I just do? Oh, and it freezes it. Damn, I didn't know that. That was cool. I dodged something. I think I did. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, my god. Oh, my god. One final blow. Ah! One final blow. Gotcha, bitch! Alright, what's the climax in this one? Oh, it's gonna do it! There we go. Ah, oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Cause they they didn't do it in Bayonetta one. Dame. Dame. <laughs> She's so caring. She's such a mommy. Oh, uh, Ooh. He's here. On the mask. <laughs> okay. Rocky. It's Dorito Man. Oh, come on. Alright, actually, it is a 2v1. 2v2, sorry. Come on, boy. Ooh, okay, we're gonna verse Lobster. The right to eye. Oh, sorry, left to eye. Left to eye. Me? <laughs> Tino Mess. Okay. Dariga. 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 Dariga.
That's so anime, man. Reveal the face, but not <laughs> put him back. Seriously. Coin. Prophet Lobster. All right. Ooh. Come on. Look at the damage of doing with this. Ah. Ah. Ah, oh, come on, I'm dodging it, man. I want to heal, but he's not letting me heal. Oh, lucky. Alright then. You asked for it. All attack. Ah, come on. Oh my god. He's not letting me hit him. Oh my god. See, it's not far out. Come on. I just I need to get used to his timing. Oh my god. Yes. Right. I'm getting used to it, getting used to it. Is it gonna throw that whole building at me? What? What's with the Bayonetta characters and throwing buildings at each other? Come on. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh my god, man. How fast is that attack? Ugh. No, don't talk, don't talk. Yeah, yeah. Even Loki and that are fighting. Ah! I was meant to press dodge. Oh my gosh, that. Almost there, man. I, I'm dodging it on that one, I'm telling you. Yes, there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm wasting all my freaking lollipops. I'm gonna get diabetes. Wait, wait for it. Oh, don't wait for it. What are you gonna do next? Oh my god. Oh. oh my. Almost there, man. We're almost there. Just dodge and attack. Come on. Oh my. Oh my god. Look how much fucking health. Yes! Holy f Oh my gosh. Dodge it! 
See, even Bayonetta struggles on here. So, and and she has the right eye, uh, left eye right now. She's, she struggles on some fights depending on the character. Everyone struggles depending on the character they're versing or the opponent they're versing. Trigger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The second timeline, I think. I think it's the second timeline. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't remember this. The creator. Man, I can't wait for freaking Bayonetta 3, man. Mm. Uh, her, glass has, her glasses has the um, gems on them. Rosa. See, her freaking face is covered as well. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Rosa. Rosa. So that's how she died. Take care of Cereza, see? Inherit. See? I swear that's gonna happen in Bayo 3. Oh! See, they don't show... They don't show... That she seals her, they don't show that. So it's possible, it's possible. Not definite, it's possible that that's the second timeline, see? Hey, Jagai. See, they don't show it, they don't show it. It's good. I'm, I'm liking it, I'm feeling my theory like sprout in me. Oh, it sounds so wrong, okay. Oh, I opened it. Who's that? Get yourself out of Matter of time. <laughs> we needed to get through the story. Chapter 9, we did it. Oh, I forgot to do a question. Oh my god, I was so invested in this. So, so sorry, guys. Okay, Ashimani Linton. They ask. Is she gonna get new outfits, new summons, stronger bosses, new accessories? Is Luca gonna be there? To answer your question, 80% yes. Actually, 90% yes. And the reason I say that is 10%, they can not do anything. I, I believe there's a chance that they might just make new outfits as DLCs. That's why I'm saying, okay, I'm pushing it up to 95. So actually, I'm 90, 95% that there will have new outfits, new accessories, new stronger bosses, and all that stuff. I believe that 5% will occur that nothing will will change. They're just gonna pick it off right after Bayonetta 2. I don't think they'll do that though, that's why it's a really low chance, but it is a possibility. I think they're gonna make, it's, it's a branding thing, like not in terms of gameplay, but in terms of the Bayonetta branding. Each game will definitely have a different outfit and all the different logistics and accessories and all that stuff. Bosses, I really think 
there's going to be something other than angels and demons. There's going to be an upgrade for angels and demons, but I think there's probably going to be another type of monster that we have to best. I said this in my previous one, but I think there's going to be like a purgatory type of monster. They might add something to the story that we don't even know in our real world theology or mytho mythology. And the last part of your question, is Luca going to be there? Hey, look at the trophy. Yes, I think Luke is, I believe Luke is going to be there. He's He's definitely been a comic relief character and in the first one he was very prominent because he was part of, uh, kind of part of the finding of Bayonetta's tomb or her coffin. I think he's going to have a big, bigger role in Bayonetta 3 and I'm, I was going to make this into a theory video. I theorized that Luca was a play on word to Lucas and Lucas, it's also my other nickname, but Lucas is a, a another word that means light or illuminate. I think there's some potential in bringing his story into it. He probably has some ancestors and he's probably a descendant of something that becomes light. I, I still believe that Cheshire is, a, is potentially a Lumen child. I think it's, it's very low, it's very fan servicey I would say, but it's a possibility. Kamiya can do anything. Um, with, with Luca, I think that his comic relief has been... It's like Thor. Actually, it's the opposite of Thor. He was a really serious character at first, and then he became a comic relief character. So, and But he's still the strongest, like, out of the Avengers team so far. I think it's going, that's, that's, I think that's what's going to happen to Luca, but it's going to be flipped. So he's been a comic relief character. There might be a chance that he will get some power-ups. And I think that'll be pretty cool to see... To be able to use Luca and see his powers, his awakened powers. It's very... I would say... 40 to 50 percent that that would get that can happen. They can still maintain him as a comic relief character, and a lot of fans like that. I like that. Again, I'm not very picky with Bayonetta, but to answer your question, definitely Luke is going to be there. He will be there either as a comic relief character, a uh, awakened character like Thor, or just Luca himself. But regardless, I really do want him in there. He, he's going to have the Luca antic of about to do something romantic to Bayonetta, and then he gets friend zoned and like, hits a wall. Like they're going to do that definitely. Just one thing to add as well. I really hope that in a in one fight of Bayonetta, he, she wears Luca's hat while she fights this boss, and I think that'll be a really cool shonen antic to put on it. They did that for a certain character in an anime that I watched. Like, they just or she or she just wore it for like one fight and then he gave it back. Like, that's a very thing, a very shonen thing to do. It's like saying two of you are versing that one boss and it's very special because it's like person's clothes that you're wearing is kind of like you're a spokesman or you're an ambassador for that person fighting the character so that's a good um, shonen antic to put in. Ashamani Linson, thank you so much for your question, I really appreciate it, it's another um, speculative question so thank you so much for that. If you guys did enjoy this video please give it a like, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Rakun, I'm restoring a knowledgeable universe now and bye!